In this video, I'm going to show you how to create self-updating dropdown in Microsoft Excel as well as in Google Sheet. In past, for example, I want to create dropdown on column A. What I need to do, I will click on newer sheet and this was my helper sheet. For example, I will assign the name dropdown. I will click on name and assign few of name for my dropdown list. The next thing was we need to select all of the column. Simply hit Ctrl T. My table has header. And now I just want to change the layout for my table. The next thing was we need to go formula. Click on name manager. Click on new. We define the name. And also in this case, I will remove this formula and only select the column without header row and simply hit OK. Close this window. Go to table format, select the entire column. This was the previous method I'm explaining. We go to data tab, simply click on data validation, list, click here, hit F3 key. You can see a name manager we define. Click on this one, simply hit OK and hit OK. And this is how we can create basic dropdown. But the limitation of this dropdown, every time we need a new name, we need to go drop down sheet. We click here, we define a new name. Now you can see a new name has been appear in my drop down list. Now I think a lot and I develop a new drop down list for you. In this drop down, we don't need this helper sheet. I will delete this helper sheet for now. Go to table format again. And for now, I will remove data validation as well. Simply select any value and hit OK. Now you can see we don't have any drop down. I will delete these data as well. To create self updating drop down, first you need to select the entire column. Go to data validation. Click on list. Click here. And now select the entire same column again. And now go to error alert. Instead of stop, you can select warning and simply hit OK. Now, if I type here, let's say Harun, you can see. A drop down appear. For example, if I type a new name for the first time on the lower options, you can see these two options and a blank option as well. So, for example, I can type here, let's say Sima, and now I can easily select my options from the lower row. In any case, I have the new name, I just need to write the new name, and on the lower row, I can see those options. Now this is very useful. Every time we enter the data, we don't need to go for the helper sheet and add a new person name. For the first time we need to type and for the other time we just need to select. Of course, you can apply this method on a non-table formatted data as well. The first thing you need to select the range you want to apply drop down. You can select by using shortcut key as well. Now simply go to data validation, click on setting, select list on the source you also need to define the same range i'm using using mouse of course this is not the professional way and simply hit ok now if you scroll up and simply type let's say harun or yasin on the lower row you can see those options as well of course in excel this method was easy but in google sheet you cannot directly apply this method so now I'm going to show you how to apply this method in Google Sheet. To create self-updating dropdown in Google Sheet, the first thing you need to select the entire column, hit Control Shift Down arrow key, we select the entire column, Control Backspace key to move to the Ecto cell again, click on data, data validation, add rule, click here, drop down from a range, click here. And now select the entire same column again. Control shift down arrow key, control backspace key, and simply hit OK. Oh, this gave me an error. The selected range cannot be intersect. Now in Google Sheet, we face this problem. And now I cannot click on done button. Now, how we can create actually the self updating drop down? The first thing we need to remove this rule. The next thing we need to click insert in this case i will delete all of other columns so that my sheet is not heavy 
I will type a very simple formula equal unique and select the entire column A. I will click on A2 and drag my mouse down. In this case, I will remove the 3 because I want it open reference. Simply close parenthesis and hit enter. The next thing we need to go data input sheet again. I already select my entire column. Click on data, data validation. Click add rule, drop down from a range. Click here, click on a square, select data range. Click here and now go to sheet 8. Select the entire column A and simply hit OK. Now I need to hide this tab as well. For the drop down, if you want to change the option, you can simply click on advanced option. Scroll a little bit down. I like the arrow format and simply hit. Now, for example, on A2 cell, you can simply type ESC. Oh, this is violating the A2 rule. Now, what is happening here? To fix the error, we need to select the entire column. Click on data, data validation. Click on this rule, advanced option. And now you can see if data is invalid. In this case, we just want show a warning. Simply hit done. Close this window. And now if you type, let's say a scene on the lower row, you can see those options. If you type new name on the lower row, you can see those options. So this is very useful technique and I hope you like and learn something useful from this video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have time, please share this video as well. Thank you so much.